we are preparing to go to camp. I've at least got some running shoes on now, so I will be a little bit more of a force to be reckoned with inside the uh, obstacle course. I'll uh, call in uh, Matt Barr, Camp Camp Camps Canada owner. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Can you tell us a Monday morning? Yeah, yeah I need that's right. More tea. Start. More that's tea. Right. That's right. All right. So uh, summer camps. I mean, I was fortunate enough to be sent away uh, to a couple when I was younger. Right. Some people never get to experience it. From your opinion, sure. why do you think that that's a, a great opportunity for kids? Well, kids need the rest as much as adults do. You know, when when you're an adult, you work all year long, and then you want to take a holiday. Mm -hmm. And when you do when you take a holiday, you usually go away, do something that you enjoy a lot. With kids, it's the same. They're in school all year. You know even though they're kids that can be stressful for them doing homework and so on. So summer camp's a great opportunity for them to get away from that, relax, and hopefully really find something they enjoy doing. Okay, yeah. how do you go about choosing a camp that is that is right for your child? Yeah, well the, the best thing to do is to start with their input. So talk to them, figure out what it is that they like. Uh, in my experience, after 18 years, it looks like girls tend to, to gravitate more towards like arts and crafts and horseback, but of course they like sports as well. And then guys tend to do more like golf and they want to do sports and basketball. That's just general. Of course, there's exceptions and girls play sports as well and boys do arts and crafts. But you, you want to consider, first of all, what your child wants to do. Okay. Obviously, the more interest they have in the program, the more they're going to enjoy it. How important do you think it is to uh, do some research? Oh, that's critical. I mean, there's a lot of camps out there. Um, so there's camps, everything from uh, karate camp to a har uh, horseback camp, arts and crafts, golf, you name it. So mm -hmm. there's lots of camps out there. Do your research. The most important thing to ask is about the staff. Because uh, I always explain in my staff training, for example, that, that if you had to choose between great staff and great stuff, like new basketballs and new soccer balls and things like that. That's not as important. Okay. What's important is great staff, so really interview the staff. And when asking how many counselors there are per child, what do you think is an appropriate ratio? Yeah, I mean, our camp in particular is eight to one ratio, which is quite low, especially considering most of our staff are certified school teachers. Yep. Uh, however, I'd say 10 to one is about appropriate. Anything more than that, then you're starting to get into um, and not, not, a, not a close enough ratio to really look after the kids and provide a good program. Okay, uh, Kurt. Do you want to come on in here and uh, join us? What to you would be the ideal camp? I like the golf camp. Yeah. The golf camp? Or a hockey yeah. camp. I figured. Hockey camp, right? I'm sure. in the hockey camp a lot. Did yeah. you? That's what you did growing yeah. oh, up? Did you? Yeah, yeah, every summer. Okay. Oh, yeah? yeah Sometimes two camps, right? Right, right. Because my dad thought I was going to be a star. Well, oh, you are. You are Your dad a star, was right. just not on the ice. He might just be on the Oh, you've seen me play. Yeah, I've seen you. Obviously, all that summer camp really didn't work for him. Didn't but, help but at it, all. It can no. help some others. No. Well, and it keeps you on track, too, right? You meet great. some great friends that you wouldn't meet otherwise. Fabulous. I mean, I bet you, you can tell me about experiences 30 years ago that you had at camp. If I could really remember, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I always had a good time, as a matter yeah. of fact. And, it, you know, it's a great experience. Uh, for kids to go uh, and go to camp uh, yeah. on their own. Yeah, yeah excellent. And it's a great break for parents too. I mean, yeah. you think about it for the kids, but you think about it for parents as well. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice break for them. What are we yeah, doing? For sure. Yeah, what if you got set out for us? Well, we've got a, an obstacle course, but I was uh, considering the space and considering the maybe the floor. These are potato sacks, so I'd like you to put them on. But we're not going <laughs> to travel because I'm worried about you slipping. Right. So what we're going to do is just stay right here. Okay. And we're going to start this little course, and I'll explain it as we go, and then I'll get you guys to do it. Okay. See, this is, he was training all those years at summer camp. He was actually just training for this opportunity right here. <laughs> Woo, I got in the bag. <laughs> that's, a, that's a summer camp. You know camp. what I am right now? In the bag. Half in the bag. You're half in the bag? <laughs> all right. Literally so what we're going to do, normally we would have the kids traveling long distance and so on and outdoors as much as possible. For today, I'm just going to get you to do a few hops here, and then we'll get started. Then you're going to come you here. Just in place. Hops. I don't want you to move anywhere. Okay. Just stay in place because I don't want you to slip. So then three gonna, hops? Uh, three. We'll do three hops. Okay. It's perfect. Then you're going to come here. Out of the bag? Out of the bag. Yeah. We're not going to have you hop and do badminton at the same time. That's too much. Okay. It's like chewing gum and talking at the same time. Okay. So you're going to hop three times. Then you're going to grab the badminton rackets, bounce that three times. Then you're going to bring the soccer ball through the bean bags as an obstacle. Yeah. yeah. And then you're going to throw the ball to me. The first one to throw me the ball. Throw which ball? The, 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 the blue one for you, Kurt. Okay. And the yellow one for you. And where? <laughs> and no cheating. <laughs> it's a tight squeeze and inside I'm be, the bag, all right? And I'm going to be at the end and just throw me the ball. And when you throw me the ball, you're the champion. Where will you be? I'll be in that area. Okay. In that general direction. Okay. Keep, your, keep yourself in front of the camera because it's important for you to see how all right. well we throw the ball. Well, I have to judge, too. I see Kurt already. He's trying to, he's trying to cheat. So what are you talking about? I have to watch him. Hey, look, you're inching. Okay, so three hops, three babintons, and then the opposite. Okay, you got to give us okay. a, 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 on your mark. Yeah, on your mark. 
Get set. Go. One, two, three. Oh, oh careful, careful, careful. What? One, three, Mark. Two, three. Good, 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 good. Oh, two. she's done this. Three. She's an expert. Oh, 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 oh. To me, to me, to me, to me. Oh. Tie. It was a draw. Everyone oh, wins at camp. Draw. In good sportsmanship and in good camp spirit, we'll call it a draw. It was fun, though. Yeah. Spirit points. Is that spirit points? That's a lot of exercise for a Monday morning. Get you guys up and moving. I think I'm I injured myself. Is there a paramedic? Yeah, there probably is one in the building. Is there, is there? So, so where can people learn more information about uh, Camps Canada? Uh, the website is always easiest, and registration is there, and availability is there. The website is www.campscanada.com. Okay. Just like that. Yeah. Thank you so much for uh, having us in this morning. I almost feel like we need a rematch after the break. Yeah, as to soon determine as I get, the real as soon winner. As I here. have that surgery, <laughs> I'll be fine. Listen, Matt, thank you very oh, much for, uh, for coming for in. Thanks for having me. Head to the uh, Camps uh, Canada website to learn all of the information. But I'm telling you, growing up, it was such a nice uh, chance to, to go away for a week. And it kind of teaches you a little bit of independence as well. Sure, sure. Were you at a day camp or an overnight camp? I was at an overnight camp. Oh, your parents really didn't like you then. They wanted to send you away for a week <laughs> hey, at a time. No, no, <laughs> One no. One week gone. That was their break. See? Awesome. That was their break.